Why, hello. It's your friend Matt, back with another Minimalist Diary. Doing art in the barn. Trying to make some sense of it all. Trying to play it off, play it out. And what have I got for you today? More junk that we are ready to deconstruct, that we are ready to destroy and process the hell out of and maybe make some sense of. We've got over here a bunch of stuff, a pile of stuff that we are gonna set fire to. Uh, old uh, certificates from intermediate high school, photos, old editions of uh, subversive materials. Uh, here's a picture of my grandma. Don't you know that I got enough pictures? I don't need this stuff no more. So we're gonna set fire to it at some point. We're about to say goodbye and to just let it go. One thing that you don't want in your life is a bunch of junk that you don't know what to do with that is overwhelming you emotionally. I have had this idea in my head of this whole minimalist journey that I was going to take because I saw all these boxes, I saw all this junk and I said, what am I holding on to here, man? I can't spend my life dragging this stuff around, waiting for the, to find the answers to life in the bottom of a box. Out uh, here it's all becoming a bit mad, as you can see. I'm getting ready for more deconstruction, more stuff's going to be broken down. Am I going to hang on to somebody else's memories because I feel like I owe something to them? Western Springs College, this has been awarded for outstanding effort, typing, drama, science, social studies, wow, yes, I mean, what's the point, man, yes, I got up on stage and I received an award. I, I don't have a lot to gain by hanging on to this stuff, and so off it goes. All these uh, bits of paper, and they don't end up meaning that much in the end. There's a picture of me when I was like, what, nine or ten. This is the emotion that you have that you're forced to confront. Somebody once cared enough to hold on to all of this. Somebody wanted to give me an award for some thing I achieved in school. Somebody wanted to give me a card. Somebody wanted to give me a gift or to my family, and then I got left with it. And uh, you're trying to process it and understand what it means. And as I say, it's only uh, creating attachment to things that allow us not to move freely, to flow freely through life and grab onto other things that may be more meaningful. I don't need to save all these pictures, it's like otherwise you can see how many are here. Pictures of people that I never met. You know, my uncle standing on a corner in Dunedin. You need to be hanging on to memories that don't do you, that don't offer you much anymore. That's what the whole minimalism thing is. We gotta put it, we gotta put it behind us. You can hang on to these things and reflect on a time where things may have been better or easier or simpler. It always seemed like it was simpler and easier. But in reality, all it's saying is that you've got a real life that you're living now and that's what you've got to uh, recognize. Don't miss out on the life that you're having now so many things that you have to process that don't really do you much good, don't really bring you much understanding, it only confuses you, well, I'm not sure that that's worth hanging on to, you know, you've got to uh, make room for the things in your life that you want, you've got to make room in your life for things that are good. Why am I dressed like a ninja turtle? Because I brought this ninja turtle outfit from an op shop for 20 cents. I'm dressed in a 20 cent outfit. And that is basically, that's what my whole minimalist thing is all about. Is that, what does it matter what I'm wearing if it only costs me 20 cents? This has become my official minimalist outfit for uh, taking on this minimalist task. But yeah, I had this idea that I was going to stick all the uh, all the posters together. I was going to smash up all the CDs until you've just got this kind of churning pile of aesthetic kind of stew of all this content, of all this stuff that I've 
participated in that I've been doing all my life and you got posters from so many gigs, scoop it out the door, start setting fire to stuff, start, start burning it, visual imagery of deconstruction. This is what happens in your head, you know, slowly over time, it just breaks down, it breaks down and down until there, there ain't nothing left. It's about the perception of memory, that after a while, none of it matters anymore. I was a DJ, I did a lot of gigs, a lot of nights at the Foo Bar, uh, 420, Kuja Lounge, Rising Sun, uh, all the tours around the country, and what are you going to do? What are you going to hold on to? We take a picture, we, st we stick it all together, we film it, we take a picture. What does that leave you with? Well, it's better than the whole pile of crap on the ground that no one's interested in except for me. If it's a music video, at least it's better than lying on the floor in an old barn here. Empty out these boxes and film the contents and smash it up and then burn it. And that is the that is the process, that is the art. Wear a teenage mutant ninja turtle outfit while you're doing it. Embrace the absurdity of existence. Existence is pretty absurd. You live this life, you do a whole lot of things, you have all these hopes and dreams. You think it's all going to become something, it's going to lead to something. Uh, and then you discover or maybe not so much. And you feel dejected or as if um, it doesn't mean anything, what you did was worthless. Well, no, you're still alive. With all these stickers that we made in the basement of Sackville Street when I was living there with old oh, Brucey. Maybe, you know, you make all these stickers because you're making this big promo uh, thing for, this, for what you're working on. And then it ends up going nowhere. All these stickers end up just stacking up in a box. Like, they mean nothing. Like, they're going nowhere. Uh, promoting nothing. Meaning nothing. What's the point of having all these posters, all of these CDs and DVDs sitting in a box somewhere doing nothing, hanging on to them for what? Whatever it is, what good is it sitting in a box? Because that's what happened is uh, there was a flood in Sandringham and some of these boxes just got totally flooded out. Well, I was going to stick everything together, I was going to glue it together, I thought that, that was going to make it make sense. But... That's what the process is doing, is you're getting to the point where you understand this is pointless, and that's the point you need to get to in order to get rid of it, in order to know that, that we are truly done with this, you need to get to that point of going, this, we're done with it. We're, we're, we're over this now. We're not holding on to these things anymore because they're not doing us no good. You know, you can film it, you can put it in a video, you can make these minimalist diaries, you, in, in that way, uh, that way you're processing it, you're pushing it all out. It's just breaking down until it's nothing, nothing, and nothing. That is my art. That is the uh, expression I'm making. You're the guy who reproduces these things endlessly. I didn't want to give up, I didn't want to let go of the opportunity to be the guy who does the thing. I wanted to be the guy who does the thing. We waded through this stuff so much that you're willing to go, that's it. That's it. I'm just burning it. I'm just burning it. I'm setting fire to it. I'm letting go of it. This is the process that we are finally, properly detaching the way that we're meant to. Once I was a guy, I made CDs, DVDs. I put up posters for gigs, I designed the covers, I designed the posters, but those days are over. It's the thing, I've got to quit. I've got to quit holding on to these things if they're going nowhere. And if I do going through this process, it helps me let go, helps me to finally give it up. Oh, well that's so good. Throw it on the ground, smash it up, Jump on it, roll around in it, freak out, scream at it, get all 
the emotions pumping out of you so you can say, oh my God, these discs and these posters and the years and the years I gave to it. And now and I've tried to put it in a box so that it would mean something. And it doesn't mean nothing. In the end, all it means is it gets tipped out on the floor and turns into some music videos and then it's done. All the important work and we, that we do in our life, well, it doesn't last that long, it doesn't mean that much in the end. Does that mean it's not worth doing? Well, I wouldn't be doing it if I didn't think it was worth doing because it's about the way that you feel. If you're able to feel that you are making some kind of progress and you are making some, finding some kind of insight, and you're bringing some understanding, and even if the understanding is it's not worth collecting all this stuff, inevitably you're going to end up saying, What's it all about? What have, been, what have I been doing for all these decades of my life? Well, you tip it all out, you sit on a big pile of it, and you go, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder what it all means. we got to accept that fundamentally it is pretty absurd to live a life and just spread it all out on the floor and smash it up on with a hammer and then wonder what it all means. All this music, all these gigs, all the CDs, all these DVDs I worked on. And what does it mean now? Is it really any point sitting around feeling sad that it's all gone by? The point is that we have to find some way of processing these emotions. It's like our brains aren't that good for such a thing. Oh, we're, we're just this creature, we're just this, we have these biological ur urges, we want to eat, we want to sleep, we want to mate, we want to reproduce, and then when we're able to see beyond that, we're able to think beyond that, well, what does that really leave us with? Does it do us any good to wonder? Does it do us any good to wear a turtle costume and to tip a whole bunch of stuff on the floor and look at it and think about it and say, is this what life is all about? Well, you want to know what life is all about. It's about the deconstruction. It's about the visual metaphor for the fact that we go through this life. We collect these fragments of the stuff and then we leave it all behind. And it's as it always, as it fills up your head and you can't really escape it, you start to wonder what it all means. Well, you have to bear it out, don't you? I think that's what it comes down to. You have to process it. You have to learn to understand it. Let it go. It doesn't mean nothing. You know, whatever you're doing, it doesn't matter. It's, it's uh, the fact that something is significant, it's the passing emotion. always pass. This is what happens, you get so charged up, you just want to go to it, you know, I'm kind of like feeling it now, feeling it now, and finally get rid of this stuff, get fire to it, end it once and for all. There's a lot of photos here, a lot of stuff, old pictures from so long ago. Pretty intense right now to consider that a lot of memories from my family are gonna go up in flames right now. You know, I can't hang on to this stuff forever. There it goes. Look at it, it's burning so well. It seems to me that the moment was right. What are you meant to do, man? You know? I can't hang on to this stuff forever. And now we have a real moment of significance. It's really going. There it all goes. So many memories. Up in smog. It's over now.
this is the beauty of the process is that you're able to let go. What a moment, it's over. We're burning. It's over, there it goes, man. Goodbye memories, goodbye past, goodbye history. Man, look at that go, it's really burning. Ooh, baby. Goodbye. Goodbye to the past. Burning off. And I just got the impulse, I just got it right there. I was just like, I'm gonna burn it. I'm gonna burn it. And I'm gonna forget about it all. And I'm gonna move on with my life. And that's gonna be the end of it. Do I feel sad? Do I feel like, you know, oh, I'm destroying my history? No. It's, it's time to move on, man. It's just burnt to a crisp, you know? So many memories, so many uh, past lives, so many, uh, so much of the past, it's just gone. It feels good. It actually feels really, really good trying to learn to let go. I feel like I'm getting somewhere. I feel like I'm achieving something. It's a crazy thing, but man, it is cleansing me. It is burning away this sort of attachment to what has been investing emotionally into all this stuff. Just let it go, man. Tonight was the night that we let it all go. Let it go and move on. Doesn't it feel so good?